on another episode of Dayton Chronicles, this woman is going viral on social media because, according to her, she doesn't do coffee or drink dates. She prefers dinner dates because she likes to dress out. Just watch the video. So one of my rules is I don't do coffee or drink dates. Now, I understand that some women like this or prefer this because it's a quick turnaround, 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't like him, you can get out of there. It works for some people. If you like it, I love it. This video is not for you. Keep scrolling. However, for me, as for me and my household, we're going to have higher standards. I'm talking to this guy and I'm going to read it to you because we've been talking for a couple days and he started talking about meeting up. So he said, we should get together over some pear and lychee cocktails soon. And I said, that's really sweet, but I prefer dinner. I like to get dressed up. Now, I always try to say it nicely because I don't want to be like, I don't accept drink dates. Like, you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be, you can, you can be nice about it. But let's just say I prefer dinner because I like to get dressed up. And he said, I see, what type of places do you have in mind? So I sent him a list of places that I've been like wanting to try, all sorts of different budgets, okay? It ranges from like medium to a little bit higher, all different locations around the city so he can choose like what works for him, you know, timing and budget wise. So I sent the list of places. He says, these places sound really nice. I think it'll be fun to get to know each other over some nicer dining options. Here it comes though. But I wanted to let you know up front that if we were to meet at one of those places, I'm comfortable splitting the check. I usually will do drinks or something on the simpler end for the first meetup to see if there's a connection first. So my thing is, I don't like the coffee or drink day because they're trying to audition you to see if you are worth an actual dinner. This is the thing for me, like I know men. The number one thing men are judging you off of is your looks, right? When they when they see you, they meet you, they're gonna be like, okay, how beautiful is she? Is she put together? Do I find her attractive, right? That's the number one thing. Your personality may come second, sure, but the first thing is how you look, right? So with that in mind, my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer costs $32, okay? Why would I put on a full face of expensive makeup, do my hair, make sure my nails are done, make sure there's no hair on my body, and then come and spend two hours of my time talking to you for an $8 coffee or a $16 cocktail. Be oh so for real. She's 100% entitled to feel however she wants when it comes to her dating preferences. But here is the glaring issue in my opinion. She's too tied up in what things cost instead of the intention of the date in the first place. Next, the very creepy thing is she counted his pockets before knowing him. And to me, that's a huge red flag. She's more focused on what she can get out of the first date rather than getting to know the person. This is why a real relationship doesn't exist anymore. Everyone's sizing up each other's pockets. Also, as a man, if you taking a woman on the first date, Please do not ask her to split the check. Be a man. In this case, if she gives you these options and you know you can't do it, just leave her alone and move on. Because as long as she has these preferences and so-called standards, there is someone always willing to do it for her. So if that person is not you, it's okay to leave her alone and move on. Dating pool is full of piss nowadays. Find somebody you can be on the same page with and you will save yourself a lot of time and trouble. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.